Hey guys, and welcome to the iPod Touch 5th generation unboxing and first impression. This is the Product Red Special Edition in 32 gig, but it's also available in 64 gig. So while we're unboxing this, let's go over some of the new specs. This has a brand new design, an A5 dual core chip that we saw in the iPhone 4S and the HD FaceTime camera. We have a brand new 5 megapixel rear camera and it comes in various colors and the backing is aluminum so it's very cool. It comes in 32 or 64 gig and the 32 gig is 299 and the 64 gig is 399. So the new iPod Touch is kind of pricey. There's really no 16 gig variant which I would have liked to see maybe with a little bit lower of a price tag, but this does pack a pretty good amount of features. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what comes in. So just lift the plastic case off like that, and there you are presented with the new iPod Touch, and this is the red variant. This is the product red variant. So let's just set that aside and see what else comes in the box. All right. And since this is the product red version, you will get this little card here that says that a portion will go to Global Fund to fight AIDS in Africa. So you can go ahead and learn more on the website. And here is your starter book here, a little quick start guide. And if you look in here, of course, you can't go without the Apple stickers. and a little bit of warranty info. And if you don't know how to use an iPod Touch or this is your first time, the Quick Start Guide is pretty good to take a look at. It'll get you up and running. So here is the new lightning connector here. And that's first seen in the iPhone 5. And here are the brand new ear pods. But it does not come in the cool case that the iPhone 5 came in. This is just paper and looks like a little bit of styrofoam or something. Not as cool as the case, but at least it comes with the new ear pods. And here is the brand new loop accessory that comes in the color of your iPod. And this is for you to stick onto the bottom and put around your wrist so you can use this as a camera or you won't lose it. It's kind of a lanyard for the new iPod. And we'll go over that in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and look at the new iPod and we will take it out of its enclosure. And you can see right here, if you take the sticker off, it's kind of stuck on the sticker and you just take the sticker right off of here and you'll be able to take it right out. And here it is. All right, so you can see right away that this screen is much bigger than the previous iPods, and you can see the volume rocker there on the left side. Then you see the headphone jack, the speaker, and the new lightning, the lightning connector right there on the bottom. And then on the right side, you see nothing, and on the top, you see the sleep-wake button on the top. And now you can see right away that there is a brand new 4-inch Retina display right there. And this is the same variant as the iPhone 5. And you see that brand new 5-megapixel iSight camera with the LED flash. And there is yours for the Wi-Fi enclosure. And looking at this 4-inch screen, let's go ahead and turn this on. So this is the same 4-inch Retina display that you will find in the new iPhone 5 and the last touch generation really had an inferior screen but I'm really looking forward to seeing this one and this thing is super thin at 0 0.24 inch so this thing is much thinner than any other Apple device that they have made now take a look at this against the iPhone 4 and this thing looks ridiculously thin compared to the iPhone 4 the iPhone 4 looks like a beast and let's go ahead and just for the heck of it take out a 3GS and wow, this is ridiculous. It is very, very thin. Now let's go ahead and compare it to the iPhone 5. And I know a lot of you guys are wondering about that. And look at how much thinner it is than the new iPhone 5. 
and the iPhone 5 is extremely thin as it is. So you can really see how much engineering went into this new iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing on and the screen is very bright and it is also very good. And look at the viewing angles on this and it doesn't look like Apple skimped out on this LCD IPS display. It looks exactly the same as the iPhone 5 does. And we can take a look at this right here and try to get a close up and you can see how clean and crisp that screen is and it looks just as good as the iPhone 5 screen does. So I'm really glad to see that in this model for I was afraid that they were going to kind of skimp on this display and I'm glad that they didn't. So don't worry about the screen guys. The screen is awesome. And the performance so far on this is pretty snappy and we'll go ahead and look at that further later. But the big inclusion of this new iPod is the new 5 megapixel sensor on the back. And Apple claims it can replace the point and shoot. And we'll do some further testing on that. But this looks to be the same sensor that's in the iPhone 4 and the iPad, the new iPad, the third generation. But let's just take a quick look at the camera real quick. And it focuses pretty fast and the shutter is pretty fast as well. So we'll go ahead and give some shots of this against the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, and I'll get back to you later on the image quality of this and see if it can replace a point and shoot. So another big inclusion here is the loop, and this is basically a lanyard system that if you push down, it pops that little loop up. And this is the loop that's included, and all you do is just stick this right on there and pull it back. And installation is easy as that and you put this right around your wrist and you can see when you pull it it really does not come off and I'm surprised that it stays on but we'll have to do some further testing on that and here it is hanging off my wrist right now and it seems to be pretty secure even if you bounce it around a little bit and here is a pretty good example of it being on my wrist so if you were out using this as a point-and-shoot camera or you are just using it in your hand and you are afraid to drop it, you can see in regular use here, let's say that you are just using your iPod and you're outside maybe in a theme park or something and you were taking some pictures and you dropped it, it would just hang right on your wrist. So we'll do some further testing and I think that's a pretty cool inclusion. All right, so what do you guys think of this new iPod Touch? Are you gonna get one or you skipped on the iPhone 5 but you kinda want this one? Let me know what you think, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we will have a full review of this new iPod Touch very soon. Thanks.